Hi folks, this is Vince with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and once again we're going to look at Star Wars X-Wing. Uh, specifically, we'll be looking at the Upsilon Class Shuttle Expansion. Uh, we're going to show you the model, the pilot cards, and the upgrade cards. I'm not going to worry about the tokens. They usually just reflect the ship class in question. So, uh, this is a large Imperial ship, and the wings do fold down, which is pretty cool. So I'll just show you the model real quick. Here's the back. And the front, pretty sleek looking, I gotta say. All right, then as far as your pilot cards are concerned, you've got Kylo Ren. Pilot skill is only six, so uh, sorry about the traffic outside. It's uh, 60 degrees in February, so everyone is out and about. But anyway, Kylo Ren, pilot skill six, pretty low pilot skills all around. Uh, but anyway. You've got an attack of four, agility of one, hull of six, and shields of six, and the special ability, the first time you are hit by an attack each round, assign the, I'll show you the dark side condition card to the attacker. Condition cards are somewhat of a new thing. Uh, they can be assigned to friendly ships or enemy ships, depending on the situation, and I'll show you the condition card uh, shortly. It has the focus, target lock, and coordinate action, which I've only really seen on huge ships. If I remember correctly, it allows another friendly ship at range 1 to 2, I think, to get a free action. It might be in this little rollbook here. But anyway, this is the uh, cost of the ship, 34. And you've got your upgrades listed down here. You've got Major Striden, uh, Pilot Skill 4. For the purpose of your actions and upgrade cards, you may treat friendly ships at range 2 to 3 as being at range 1. Oh, that's kind of nice. All right, so it's a nice little support ship. You don't have to be at a particular range, really, in order for you to to make use of certain upgrade cards. That's nice. But it's, uh, it's the cost of 32. Lieutenant Dormitz. All right, pilot skill three. During setup, friendly ships may be placed anywhere in the play area at range one to two of you. Not bad. Cost of 31. Then you've got your no-named uh, Upsilon class shuttle, the Star Killer base pilot. Pilot skill two, cost of thir uh, yeah, 30. Okay, so that's the pilot cards. Let's take a quick look at the upgrade cards. There's a few of them here, so we're going to try and get through them as quick as possible. Uh, snapshot, two attack, range one. After an enemy ship executes a maneuver, you may perform this attack against that ship. Attack, attack one ship. You cannot modify your dice and cannot attack again this phase. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that, but okay. I'm not sure. If I cannot attack again this phase, I'm not exactly sure when I'd use this. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to think about ways to use snapshot. Uh, General Hux. Um, as in maybe maybe if you if the enemy if, let's say that you have a higher pilot skill and you end up moving out of the firing arc, like let's say that you are a nine and your your enemy is a five and he moves in front of you. But you know that your maneuver is going to take it beyond your firing arc. So you could use snapshot then move. I guess that might be uh, good to have. But anyway, General Hux, Imperial only. As an action, choose up to three friendly ships at range 1 to 2. Assign one focus token to each of those ships and assign the Fanatical Devotion condition card to one of them. Then receive one stress token. I'll show you that condition card in a little bit. Kylo Ren, Imperial only. As an action, assign the I'll show you the dark side condition card to an enemy ship at range 1 to 3. Operation Specialist Limited. After a friendly ship at range 1 to 2 performs an attack that does not hit, you may assign one focus token to a friendly ship at range 1 to 3 of the attacker. Okay, there's another one. Hyperwave Calm Scanner. At the start of the Place Forces step, you may choose to treat your pilot scale value as 0, 6, or 12 until the end of this step. Huh. During setup, after another friendly ship is placed at range 1 to 2, you may assign one focus or evade token to it. That's interesting. Okay. Targeting synchronizer. After a friendly ship at range 1 to 2 is attacking a ship you have locked, the friendly ship treats the attack target lock header as attack. If a game effect instructs that the ship spend a target lock, it may spend your target lock instead. Okay. Lots of uh, utility here. Ion projector. Large ship only modification. After an enemy ship executes a maneuver that causes it to overlap your ship, roll one attack die. On a hit or crit result, the enemy receives one ion token. Wow, that's 
pretty cool. You can sort of lock it into place, especially if it's a small ship that's hitting it. You can just stay there, use the zero template, which I'll, sh I'll show you the, the maneuvers in a little bit. But you can keep bumping the uh, small ship and, yeah, I, I could see you locking someone down with that thing. All right, Kylo Ren Shuttle, Upsilon Class Shuttle only title. At the end of the combat phase, choose an unstressed enemy ship at range 1 to 2. Its owner must assign a stress token to it or assign a stress token to another ship at range 1 to 2 uh, of you that the player controls. Okay. And here are those condition cards I was talking about. New looks. This is that fanatical devotion. When defending, you cannot spend focus tokens. However, when attacking, if you spend a focus token to change all focus results to hits, set aside the first focus result that you change. The set aside hit result cannot be canceled by defense dice, but the defender may cancel crits before it. Okay, during the end phase, remove this card. All right. So it's, it's more of an offensive card. And then I'll show you the dark side. That's the other condition card that you saw a few times. Uh, when this card is assigned, if it is not already in play, the player who assigned it searches the damage deck for one damage card with the pilot trait, and they place it face up on this card. Then shuffle the damage deck. When you suffer critical damage during an attack, you are instead dealt the chosen face up damage. Wow. When there is no damage card on this card, remove it. Okay, really cool. All right, so uh, let's take a look at the maneuvers real quick, then we'll call it a day. Ah, oh, the coordinate action. Yeah, so let me just make sure I was right about that. Uh, friendly ship at range 1 to 2, the chosen ship may immediately... Form. Yep, one free action. Okay, got it. All right, uh, maneuvers are back here, as you can see. It only goes up to speed 3. Uh, does a two hard turn, one hard turn even, but it's a stressful maneuver. So it's a little bit more maneuverable than the Lambda. However, you will receive stress for it. There is a zero red maneuver as well. Uh, the only green maneuvers it has is straight and a two slight turn. So, um, yeah, it, it, it's, it's, it's a little bit better than the Lambda, I think, because it has the four attack dice. So I'll be interested to try this one out. So there you go, folks. That is the Upsilon Class Shuttle Expansion. Uh, stay tuned for more videos. If you guys haven't already, subscribed to my channel. And check out my official website, www.dadsgamingaddiction.com. This is Vince. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.